Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sybil and I am so excited about today's topic. We're talking about coming out, which I know can be very scary and give you a lot of anxiety, but also it can be very freeing, relieving, and just make you feel so much better about yourself. Today, we're gonna to talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not that you guys know anything about being ugly. Y'all y'all so beautiful. So I'm gonna start with telling you some of my personal coming out stories. Skip here if you just are here for advice and questions. I won't be offended, I understand. So if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you probably know by this point that I'm a pretty open book. I don't really have a problem sharing personal things, especially if it's gonna help somebody else. So I'm gonna be telling you all sides of my coming out because I had very good reactions, I had very bad reactions. I have people that I no longer talk to that are my family. That's just how it be. The very first person I came out to was this guy named Brant when I was 13. I had just gotten home from middle school. What a time. And I went home, messaged him on Facebook and said, Brant, I need to tell you something. I, I'm gay. I have, but are you like sure about that? Cause I think you're kind of cute. No, like I, I'm gay, like I am a lesbian. And I just wanted to tell you since we're such good friends. Well, I'm glad you told me cause the ah ha ha, I was gonna ask you out tomorrow. Uh, are you sure, sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. I, well, I love you and I support you no matter what, you know I got your bag. For reference, I looked like this. I looked like this and somebody wanted to date me, let alone the first person I came out to. Are you? That actually felt really good. It gave me like a little bit of a confidence boost. It made me know that I had somebody in my corner and I decided I was gonna come out to my mom that same day. So I decided to call my mom to see what time she would be home from grocery shopping and she picked up the phone. You wanna know what I said? You wanna know what I said? I'm gay. I called to ask her what time she was going to be home and my little gay body just, she picked up it, she picked up the phone. I said, I'm gay. You're dumb, you're dumb. She said, are you serious? And I said, yeah. And she said, I'm gonna finish grocery shopping. We'll talk when I get home. End of call. Why? Why? What? Somebody just, somebody just told me why. Why? Why would I do that? I don't know. She gets home. I'm crying into my snapback. How gay can it get? And she looks at me and she says, I love you no matter what. Thank you, Ollie. I would say for the first three months after coming out to her, she would be like, you know, if you do like a boy or you might be bisexual, I always want you to know you can talk to me and feel comfortable coming out again. But she never did it in a way that made me feel like she wanted me to be straight. You know what I mean? Like she just was trying to be accepting on every level and she did a great job of it. And I love her very much. So the next people I came out to were my brothers, Logan and Roman. I came out to them about three months after I came out to my mom and it went weird. I had just gotten a brand new electric guitar I didn't want anybody to touch it. I told Logan not to touch it. He touched it, he dropped it, and it had a little scratch. And I blew up, like, big mad, like, big mad. I lost my temper much more than I should have, like, to the point where it was, like, weird, you know? Like, they were like, uh, is everything good at home? Like, are you fine, fam? I screamed, no, I'm, <laughs> no, I'm gay. Just screamed that at the top of my lungs. Do you want to know what they did? They grabbed a Bible and they started screaming random Bible verses at me and like throwing water on me, being like, God hates you. And I was just like crying. I was just like bawling my eyes out and they're like screaming Bible verses at me and like sprinkling water on me being like, stay back, like sin, like what? And then they just like set down the Bible and looked at me and said, bro, no, like calm down. We're just kidding. Like God, we don't even believe in God, dude. Like, no, dude, you're fine. Like, we don't give a frick. Yeah, then everything was chill with them, even though like it really scared me in the moment. I now look back and I'm like, that's a good story. Those went well. Um, so let's get into things that didn't go well. After I came out to my brothers, I decided to come out to my dad. I thought my dad was gonna be super chill. He's not religious. He's always like vibing. He was always like the fun parent. So I was like, he's not gonna care, like. I'ma say he's gonna be like, I right, dude, bet, let's talk about women. I pulled up to my dad looking like this, looking like that. Who, who, sh 
y'all should have known. Y'all should have already been known. But I go up to him and I say, hey dad, just want you to know I'm gay. I, I'm realizing all of my coming outs are just me saying I'm gay. <laughs> I guess that just tells you what kind of person I am. Blunt. I'm like, I'm gay. <laughs> What's good? And he says, no, you're not. N no, you're not. He tells me that I'm at least bisexual because that's a thing nowadays and that I am not gay. He just kind of denied it and I was like, no, I'm gay. And he's like, no, you're not. And I was like, okay. Once again, remember what I looked like gay. He eventually got over it and we're fine now because, you know, I'm 20 now. I came out to him and I was like, either 13 or 14, I can't remember exactly what I ate. Took him some time, but he's over it now and he's like chill and fine. And here's my next coming out, which is where I was outed. Uh, I told my dad not to tell my stepmom and he told my stepmom. Vibe. Vibe. So that was fun. She was like, she didn't really care. Like she never talked to me about it. She never said anything bad about it. She just kind of like was like, I, so I guess it's time to talk about my worst coming out experience, which was to my half older brother. When I came out to my oldest uh, brother, he told me I was going to hell, God hates me, then moved to Utah, became a Mormon, and hasn't spoke to me in like four years. It's, it's hard and it sucks and there's some people that just aren't going to accept you. But at the end of the day, you gotta remember that you only deserve people in your life that are going to love you for who you really are and if something as small as what you do in your personal life and who you do it with is gonna make them hate you, that's not on you. That's on them for being a bad person. When it comes to coming out to friends, I was fortunate in the fact that I switched schools in my town. So in ninth grade, I went to a new school and I just was at when I got there. By ninth grade, I looked like this. I was very obviously gay um, and I just <sighs> rolled with it and didn't really have to come out to anyone. One good thing and one curse about looking this way is that people automatically assume that I'm queer at the very least and I don't have to come out, which is a blessing and a curse. I've dealt with a lot of homophobia in my life. I grew up in a small town. I had beer bottles thrown at me. I've had tons of slurs thrown at me, you know, I've heard it all, and at this point, my skin is pretty thick and it doesn't really affect me. But I've also had plenty of people that support me and love me no matter what. I have plenty of great friends that did not care, I have great family that did not care. But enough about that, let's get into some questions. If you watched my last video, you know that I have to film on my phone and I have to use this to write down questions, so don't mind that. Somebody asked me what's the best way to come out, and I think that's very much up to you. I don't think there is a best way. Personally, I think being blunt and open about it is great. If you just say, I'm gay, or I'm whatever, then it's very clear in what you mean, so therefore they don't have much room to be like, well, maybe she meant this, or maybe she meant that. Like, no, it's very there. How they deal with that, up to them, up to the situation. But you being blunt doesn't give them a way to be like, no, that's not what she said, if it's very clear what you said. What if it is a phase? That's fine. Um, I think a lot of people are scared to come out and then realize that maybe they came out as the wrong thing. I'm very loving and open to the idea that people can come out and then be like, wait, maybe I'm just bisexual or maybe I'm pansexual, or maybe I am straight and I just went through a phase where I genuinely thought I was gay. That's fine to me. Life is all about exploring and experiencing ourselves and we don't always get it right on the first try. And if you don't, and if it is a phase, don't hate yourself for that. Just be happy that you found yourself in it. Advice on how a baby gay can better accept themselves. My big thing is first, understand that there's nothing wrong with being gay, bisexual, pansexual, queer. I like the umbrella term, I'm sorry if you don't. There's nothing wrong with being queer. It is nature, it is built into you, and you cannot change it. And why would you want to if it is a part of yourself and who you are is beautiful? That's okay. A good way I found to accept myself was watching queer TV shows, looking up to queer celebrities, and finding a space where I feel like I fit in. I watched a lot of Glee, watched a lot of South of Nowhere, South of Nowhere was my, like, gay show. That was my, mm. 
Carmilla YouTube series, Hot Vampire in Leather Pants. How to make coming out better for your parents? This is a loaded question because depending on who they are and how they feel, you might not be able to do anything. Uh, I think maybe giving them a private space if they're not scary and not going to hurt you um, is better, such as in your living room. Maybe bring your brother or sister to make it a little less awkward. Also, just understand that their initial reaction isn't always how they truly feel. They could just be shocked. Let them experience that first. So I'm gonna mix these next two questions because somebody said, is it okay to date somebody if they're closeted? And somebody asked me if I've ever dated somebody that's closeted. And the answer is yes. There are so many situations where somebody might not be out, could be homophobic parents, could be a homophobic town, could just be bad situation or not the right time for them. If you guys are willing to have a healthy relationship and neither of you are going to push each other to come out, then that's totally fine. Um, I have dated somebody that wasn't out. We did it for two and a half years. She came out while we were together. And honestly, I think me being there and her having the extra support system of a girlfriend really helped. They came to accept her and to love her as they should and they are wonderful people and she is a wonderful person and everything keeps moving. Did you identify as bi first? This is like such a big thing where people usually come out as bi first and I think that's why a lot of people are biphobic because they think that it's just like one or the other and you're just in a middle phase which is not true and I'm just gonna put that out there right now that is not true bisexual people exist and are valid. I came out bi to my brother just one of my brothers because he was dating a girl that was bi and it gave me a way to relate to her and get to know another queer. But that's just me personally. Does it get easier to come out? It 1000% does. You know, once you do it enough times and you've come out to all the main important people in your life, it's just easy from up there on out. If you have somebody new in your life, you tell them you're gay, they don't accept it, then you just don't have them in your life. You already have the important people, you already figured out how that goes down, you've already come out to your main set of people. So everyone else you come out to now is just could be irrelevant if they don't treat you the right way. What if they don't believe me? Well, as you can tell from my dad's story, if you watch that part of the video, my dad didn't believe me. And all you can do is really just give it time, be persistent, let it be known that you are gay and you are not changing. And I'm just using gay as like my umbrella term because I am gay, but I also mean bisexual people and pansexual people. Y'all are all included in this. How to handle people who try to out you. Wow, that's a loaded question. If it is a situation where you can cut them off and they won't out you, I would say just distance yourself. Just push them away. How do I get the courage to come out? Uh, you just need to have the courage in yourself first. Be comfortable with who you are, understand who you are. And once you have that confidence in yourself, it will give you the courage to actually do it. How did you know you were ready to come out? I just knew because I was at a point where I was very open with myself about being gay. I knew that my mother was going to be accepting um, and that really helped. So now I'm just going to throw you some advice that you guys sent me to give to other people. Because while I have plenty of advice, I think having advice from other people is great too, different perspectives. So a couple pieces of advice you guys wrote me to give to anybody who's watching this and needs it. Only come out if it's safe. I totally 100% agree with this one. If you know the person you're living with is very homophobic, you know you could be kicked out, you know that you could be physically hurt, don't come out. Just wait as much as it hurts, just wait. Your safety is much more important. A lot of you said that you don't need to label yourself. 100% agree. You do not need to give other people validation of what you are. As long as you're comfortable with yourself, you don't have to label yourself. And if you want to, you can wait as long as you want until you feel confident in that label. Come out when you're ready and on your own terms. Absolutely. Know yourself and then come out. Do not feel pressured and do not come out because somebody else wants you to. Them accepting you is not your responsibility. Ah. Yes. You being gay is part of you. It is not up to you to make them accept you. It is not up to you to make them feel okay with it. At the end of the day, it's up to them how they react and it is not your responsibility to make them accept it. Mwah. Do not accept abuse because of blood relation. 100% agree. If somebody is hurting you, mean to you, constantly bringing you down, it is okay to separate them from your life even if they are family. Sometimes we come out and it just does not go well and there are certain people that cannot be in our lives. My situation with my brother, we don't talk for years. It's just healthier and better that way. 
and maybe one day those people will come around but for now it's healthier and better for us to just separate from that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for all your questions and advice you guys always overwhelm me with how much support you have to give not only to me but to each other thanks for watching and i will definitely be back with a new video very soon